We do bruise. We do bruise in the hood too. All right. Shout out to these guys. Shout out to them. Another local brewery. I'm saying shout out to them because they have uh, set themselves apart from all the other local breweries out here, all the other breweries in Chicago. This is Half Acre. Known for Daisy Cutter. Known for other beers. Because I drink so many beers that if I say a name and it's wrong, be kind of fucked up. But I think this might be limited release or seasonal or something because I only see it around this time of year. I had it last year. It was really good. And I bought it again this year. That's how good it was. Maybe I'm giving y'all too much info. But this is Half Acres Deep Space. Double IPA. We back on that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another one. So, yeah, man. Deep Space. Double IPA. So, the story with this beer and me is that I kept seeing this fucking can in my local bottle shop. And I kept walking past it. And I just, it was like a $15 four pack. And at that time, I wasn't ready to make that type of commitment. So, I didn't buy it for a while, and then I got a good check, and I was like, fuck it. I'm buying one. And here we are, a year later. Fucking with this beer. Badass can, man. You see the fucking, uh, what would you call this? Like, uh, I don't know, like that Magic Eye type shit. Remember Magic Eye? Fucking Magic Eye, bro. You do this shit. Terms of whatever, but you see, like the fucking colors and shit. I really wish I knew what the fuck that was called. I can't think of it right now, but yeah, it's real trippy. You have this jerk off right here on the front looking smug as shit. He looked like that dude that looks like Zach Galifonic Galifianakis and that meme with the like, you know, he kind of you know, that shit like that's what he looked like. Uh, Got some wolves on the side of it. Trippy ass colors, man. Fucking look at the shirt. Bro, and then like the space colors all on the back of it. It's fucking space wolf and shit. It's a badass can. It's a can that actually was in my collection before I threw my old collection out. I kept this can. So, I'll keep another one this time. If I don't already have one up there, which I might. Anyway, can is badass. That's why I talked about it for so long. Let's get into the beer specs. It's 10% uh, alcohol, double IPA, so to get you where you need to be, sitting on untapped currently at a 4.0, which is pretty big deal, man. I'm uh, trying to go 4.0 or better anytime I grab something. I do my reviews for them. Uh, 205 check-ins this month. Maybe that's for the month of October. I'm not quite sure. Uh, 33,000 total check-ins. So people are getting their hands on this local brewery's delicious brew. Uh, they don't really have much up here to explain the brewski. It says our house IPA. Okay, space double. Oh, so they have a so I space is their fucking house brew. So this is their double. I didn't know about that. Our house IPA space doubled. Falconer's flight and Citra hops. Of course, the hell. Falconer's Flight and Citra Hops course you far into the unknown. That's what it says there. It probably says that on the can somewhere too. Good old local brewery, man. Nope, that's not. Uh, this beer has been in this can since June 19th. Um, I've had it in my beer fridge for maybe about a, a month or so. But I'm not anticipating anything being wrong with it. Uh ready to drink the beer man I am ready to drink the beer I wish I had more info on the fucking beer but I don't there's nothing there there's nothing here I just know it's a double IPA and it's a fucking double IPA man alright we crack DB first pour so what I have come to know is that 
double IPAs when they are dark like this usually means boozy brew. Haven't run into too many 10 percenters, man, that ain't this color. You know, like, it looks like brown sugar. Lagunita, shout out to y'all. Anyway. Yeah, so, we got that dark amber fucking color. I poured a little head on it. It's actually pretty poor, man. Almost got right to the lip of that bitch. But, yeah, nice fucking amber color. It's a cute little bitch, ain't it? Smells of hops, pine, piney hops. It's fucking grass beer, man. I don't smell fruit. Maybe I do smell a little fruit. I smell a little. I smell a little citrus, as always. Maybe some. I don't know. I don't know. Strong hop aroma. Real strong hop aroma. That's all I get from this. I get a little bit of fruit, a little citrus, but mostly pine. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, it wouldn't be the first time. Anyway. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, that's so good. Fuck. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Boozy. Motherfuckers boozy, right? <clears throat> it's just straight hoppy. Like, it's really fucking hoppy. I'm not even getting any fruit notes at all. I'm just getting straight hops. It must be pine. It must be, I don't know, maybe some grapefruit in there or something. Let me see if I can discover it. <laughs> I just want to take another sip on camera. Straight four hops on the tongue. Back in a little citrus. Real, uh, just really, it's a strong brew, man. It's not for the faint at heart. It's not for no punks. Like, it's a 10 percenter that tastes like a 12 percenter. It's not no, like, 10 percent fucking New England. This is real man beer right here, bro. This is real man beer. This is highly suggested. This is one of those. If you see this, don't hesitate. I don't give a fuck what else you came in the store to get. You get this if you see it. Half acre. Deep space. Double IPA. Nine out of ten. I want to give it a 9.5. I'm going to give it a nine. Out of ten. Going to give it a nine. Out of ten. Fire. Fire. Fucking fire. You see this? Buy it. This is a good beer. Get out of that juicy phase you probably in. Get out of that hazy phase you probably in. Get you some hops. That's what this is. Motherfucking hop. Get it. Deep space. Get it. If I ain't convinced you by now, then you fucking up. But, till next time. Peace.